What time is it? These are perilous times. These are the last times. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And we have a grisly list, 19 characteristics of the days in which we live. And then we come down to verse 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions which came upon me. And he describes these. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and impostors shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast heard and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. What was Paul's advice to a young person in such times as those described? Was it to hunker down till the rapture? Was it try to keep happy with morally inoffensive pastimes? Or to gather regularly in holy clubs to bemoan the world conditions? No, it definitely was not. He tells Timothy to fortify the brethren with nourishing food, the words of faith and good doctrine to push aside distractions, to exercise himself. The word is gumnazo, to, to strip down anything that is extraneous to the life of faith and to give himself wholly to these things. This world is full of passionate people. People who are passionate about getting a faster computer or smaller phones or exotic vacations or fan fancy cars. They give their lives to breeding dogs, raising exotic orchids, finding the perfect slope, decorating dollhouses, and collecting salt shakers. Where are the people who are passionate about the Lord Jesus? It's a question that, that presses on us, isn't it? Because these are days in which there are a million distractions. Gordon Dahl, whoever he is, writes, most middle-class Westerners tend to worship their work, work at their play, and play at their worship. As a result, their values are distorted and their lifestyle resembles a cast of characters in search of a plot. In other words, meaningless, purposeless, endless activity to no account. These are the last times. But ladies and gentlemen, though the times may be bad, they are the only times we have. This is it. This is your life. God has put you, not by accident, in this particular era of history. And perhaps you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this.